So hello everyone, a new month and another new interesting topic. So today we are going to talk about orphan drugs. So we have seen that orphan drugs are used for rare diseases, but we don't understand what exactly is the prevalence, what are the criteria for orphan drugs to be declared, and what are the treatment that are designated to this particular orphan drugs. So in this video, we will look all those aspects and we will lay a clear understanding of orphan drugs, rare diseases, and how the situation is in India and globally. So make sure you like, share and subscribe to this channel and watch the video till the end so that you can get a better clarity of the old concepts. Without further ado, let's start. So in this particular session, we are going to learn that what are orphan drugs, what are rare diseases followed by the criteria for declaring a particular drug and having their orphan drug status. Finally, we will see what is the orphan drug scenario in India, followed by which are the top marketed orphan drugs globally. So let's start. So first and foremost, we must understand what exactly are orphan drugs. So an orphan drug is a pharmaceutical agent that is developed to treat certain rare medical condition. Okay, so drugs used to treat rare medical condition is nothing but an orphan drug. That orphan drug would not be profitable to produce without the government assistance because you need to understand that this particular orphan drug is used for rare diseases which is applicable to a very small number of population and when it when a drug has to be manufactured for small number of population the cost increases. So the government also intervenes, the government also subsidizes or reduces taxes on this particular drug and through which the rare disease affected population get this particular drug. Okay. And the condition where the orphan drugs are requirement. Okay. Those conditions are called as orphan diseases or rare diseases. So the assignment of the orphan status uh, to a particular disease. Okay. It is it varies as a matter of public policy from country to country. Okay, so in some countries you might find that 1 in 1 lakh is the ratio for an orphan drug. In some countries you would find that ratio higher or lower. So de declaring a particular disease as an rare disease or an orphan disease varies from the legislation for one country to another. Okay, so this is about the orphan drugs. Now let us understand what exactly do you mean by orphan disease or rare disease. So an orphan disease is a disease that affects a very small number of population and this particular disease in its rarity results to little to no funding when it comes to research, treatment, financial incentive from the government or agency and this particular uh, disease targets a small number of population and you might be surprised but the most rare disease almost 90% of them have their genetic origin. Thus it affects the person's lifetime and even the symptoms do not appear immediately. Okay. So most of the rare diseases would have their genetic origin and the people who affect who are affected by these genetic diseases have a very low survival rate and almost 30% of the children born with rare diseases would die before their fifth birthday. So you would understand that what exactly is the seriousness of these rare diseases but since it is affected by a very minor population in respective countries or across the world, the funding, the treatment and the incentive given by a government vary. And see, this might sound logical when it comes to higher cost of treatment. But when it comes to having a loved one affected by a rare disease, then we understand from their perspective that these particular medication or treatment should be subsidized in order to help the minor population also get the justice of treatment. Now, as I've said that there are certain criteria or requirement to qualify a particular drug as an orphan drug. So what are those criteria? So first criteria is rarity. So a drug should have never received FDA approval and new orphan indication for that already uh, marketed drug should be there. So that is a rarity. The second would be the seriousness. So if is a particular drug used for treatment, prevention or diagnosis of the life, life 
threatening or serious uh, debilitating condition so how serious is the disease so that is another criteria third criteria should be safety so whatever the drug is requiring orphan status it should be safe to use by the population affected by this disease and in comparison to the alternative method there should be an alternative uh, treatment and if there is not then how is that new drug benefiting as compared to that uh, already existing drug and how that drug can be used as an alternative method to the established treatment okay so when it comes to criteria for declaring orphan drug rarity seriousness safety and comparison to the alternative method is considered once this criteria are met then a particular drug is declared as orphan drug then you receive the funding for the research the treatment as well as the subsidy and tax reduction from the government now let us understand what are the rare disease uh, landscape okay so what are the types of commonly known rare diseases first is inherent cancers cancers come in rare diseases followed by autoimmune disorders congenital malformation infectious disease okay which are sudden and do not have wide scale treatment and some diseases such as hemangioma hirschsprung disease gaucher disease cystic fibrosis muscular dystrophy etc are also in the category of rare diseases so whenever we encounter a situation where we have to name rare diseases then these particular diseases can be named and in market the treatment for these particular rare diseases is available so now let us understand what is the rare disease situation in india okay so in india there are more than 7000 rare diseases known and reported even at the worldwide and this rare genes uh, project maintains the comprehensive directory of rare diseases okay over 350 million people are affected across the world out of which 70 million are in india which means 1 in 20 indians are affected by this rare disease and this is the data from organization of rare disease in india okay this data has been published in their website also so you can go ahead and check it out and i would encourage to the working professional in you that if you have ability to donate for this rare disease this organization is making a good effort in promoting them i do not have any personal agenda or tie up with them but i feel if you are able to donate then please donate it to the organization of rare diseases in india they could be able to help subsidize the treatment and also work in terms of research and legislation so that if our loved ones are affected in the future they can get the treatment at a very lesser cost now looking at other uh, facts that 80% of the rare diseases have their genetic uh, origin and they have monogenic issues and this particular global orphan drug market has exceeded 50 billion in 2011 in 2024 it can also cross 80 or maybe 100 billion and majority of this rare diseases do not have treatment and if they have treatment it is unaffordable so that is what the issue with rare diseases and orphan drug are if there is any treatment then it is expensive or there is no treatment at all so you need to understand how serious is the orphan drug and rare disease situation and there are almost only 500 drug for the approved orphan drug which are existing in the market and just 100 clinical trials the affordability is also another issue and when it comes to having a legislation for orphan drug then orphan drug act in 1983 was first laid down in the united states and this law is designated to facilitate the development and commercialization of this drug for treatment okay so when it comes to india the rare disease situation is 1 in 20 indians and it is a very serious condition and we need to have legislation support and uh, treatment cost reduction for everyone who is affected by by this disease now let us understand which are the top marketed orphan drug so as you can see in this uh, table we have uh, dazalex we have uh, trikafta so these particular drug are used in particular diseases such as oncology respiratory blood and uh, oncology specific diseases and they target various therapeutic sub categories such as protein kinase inhibitors or respiratory agent or anti fibrinolytics okay and they they are prepared by one of the top companies such as abby johnson and johnson vertex pharma uh, roche 
astrazeneca okay so you can refer the orphan drug report 2022 okay by melini senior and you would be able to see even more orphan drug this is just an example so if you are asked in any particular interview you need to at least name this five particular drug for oncology respiratory uh, blood diseases so that you are able to communicate what exactly is your understanding for orphan drug and rare diseases so thank you for watching this video i hope i was able to shed light on the orphan drug status make sure you like share and subscribe to the channel so that we can uh, promote awareness about such topics and help in public uh, policy betterment and uh, healthcare and thank you for watching this video